Sacred Heart Media Club. It was started by some enterprising students. I have two of them right here, Morgan and Kat. Morgan, how you doing? I'm good. I uh, got tested for corona today, so that was pretty fun. Did you pass? Um, I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. Oh man, so do you have any do you have any of those symptoms or are you just you so, um I've been working like I work at Plato's Closet and one of the employees there tested positive, so every employee had to get a test. Wow. Well we'll definitely be uh be praying for you. Well, Kat, how are you doing? Hopefully you didn't have to get tested for COVID. No, I haven't been tested yet. I've been doing pretty good. Summer's been good. It hasn't been what I expected, but making the most of it. Yeah, this hadn't been what anybody expected. That's so, I mean, we've we've said it a lot where it's just weird. It's just everybody's kind of out of sorts, but, you know, at least you're getting to, at least you don't have to do any schoolwork right now. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, that's a plus. Garrett Bell, how's your Wi-Fi doing? Hey, we're doing better now. We're having a little bit of trouble, but we're good now. Yeah, so like what is uh what do you do in high school when you can't be around your friends? Like that's a uh that's an important time socially. Like what what have you guys been doing to uh to cope with that? Uh, a lot of FaceTiming. Yeah. And like a lot of small groups. We sometimes go to Sonic and like sit in our cars and talk. We do that. Yes. Is Sonic still like the place to be? Because that was, uh, there's a lot of, you know, I mean, I hung out in a parking lot or two when I was in high school. I think some people enjoy it a lot. Yeah. That's where most people like just go, I guess. Yeah, at this point, just anything to do, you know? Yeah, honestly, because there's like not much to do at all. Well, this is where small town kids have the uh, the advantage, you know. You don't have like a ton going on usually anyway, so you got to make your own fun. You got to stay productive. Speaking of productive, um, during the school year, you know, this is our first year to have the media club. Um, how did that get started? How did how did that come about? Hello. Yes, this is Morgan. Okay, thank you. You have a good day. You're negative? Okay, so I'm negative for Corona. <laughs> Sorry about Yay! that. There you go. I was like, man, if you're taking a phone call on this, it must be important. And important. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's great. So there we go. I'm I feel I feel much less stressed than I was before. Well, Morgan, how do you how did you get started with the media club? Um, so a bunch of us just really like, there were just like a bunch of different people, like especially in my grade, were like, how cool would it be to just have like a Sacred Heart sweatshirt? Like we like the school ones and stuff and they're fine for school, but something that we want to wear out, something that we want to show off, something that we'll keep forever. Like just like a really cool sweatshirt. And then so I went to Coach Fowler to talk about it one day and he just was like, well, why don't you just get a couple people together and make a club? And this can be y'all's first thing and y'all can do t-shirts or y'all can do other things. And then I was like, well, why don't we just start an Instagram account and a Twitter account? Just like keep people aware, just like post different things. Cause I know that I wish that I had that, especially as like a seventh grader, you don't really know what's going on. Like then you have like this account that's right at your fingertips that you can just figure out everything. And then we started doing the sign outside. So it's just really just like different opportunities that come about. We just kind of do whatever, just kind of like a voice for the students that isn't necessarily like an elected position, like student council or the other things with the circles that just like that. So what's your title within the media club? You're prime minister or I mean, I guess, I guess president, we didn't really, we were going to figure all that stuff out towards the end of the year, but then that kind of got cut short. So I guess I'm president, founder. Founder, founding father. There you go. You started it. Yes. The OG. So you're, you're a junior. Kat, Kat, you're what class, what year are you? Uh, 2021. I'll be a senior this year. So you guys, I mean, you're looking at, you're also looking at your senior year being 
non-traditional. Uh, we got Garrett Bell, though. You just had your senior year. I mean, what do you think of it, man? Uh, well, it was a little bit different than uh, other people's experiences, but uh, we, we made the most of it at a good time. All right, let's do this. Let's play positive, negative. Start with what one thing you didn't like about your senior year and one thing that you liked about your senior year because of the uh, unprecedented circumstances. Uh, well, the, everyone else in the class really made it special, all my classmates, and then I guess uh, – the goodbye. We never really got a goodbye. It was just cut short. That was being negative for sure. Just having to end early. Yeah, we got, but you did get graduation. I mean, that was that was cool. Yeah. My juniors now. What's the future for Media Club? Definitely roll the sweatshirt out and get that nice. started. Um, and then like t-shirts and stuff like a few people from media club designed like the t the seniors t-shirt like that they got for their little surprise um just like kind of like if student council doesn't want to do the homecoming t-shirt like we can do that or if, oh and we also designed the mardi gras t-shirt so just like helping people with that stuff because that's something that doesn't really take a lot of time but if you're already doing something else um and we really like doing the sign outside with different Bible verses or different encouraging words. Um, Kat, do you have anything? Basically, uh, no, sounds about it. And <laughs> stuff on social media, like the Twitter and the Instagram, like keep posting like more things, like reaching out to other people, showing like what we're doing. Like, if we make, it like, a sweatshirt or something, we can, like, post it on there, advertise it. All right, I heard about there being, a like, a student news channel or, like, a student-run podcast. Okay, I know you guys love sweatshirts, but who would actually go and put themselves on camera and be a star? Um, I'm camera shy. I think whoever wants to do it, I know Lindsay has a very like good voice and like a good personality to do that. So she could probably do that. And Bella too. Mm, Bella has a good like opening voice and mm -hmm. she always knows what she's talking about, even if she doesn't. She can mm -hmm. she can make it seem like it. Wow, sounds like uh she's got a future in politics too. That's that's a value <laughs> that's a valuable skill. All right, so we start school August sixth. Uh I mean what what are your thoughts on that? What do you, th you know, you, I know a lot of people are nervous about coming back. Uh, or people are nervous about, I mean, pretty much everything right now. So how, how do you feel about coming back in August? I'm kind of scared, honestly. I'm, I don't know. Like, I'm ready to come back and see everybody. But at the same time, there's going to be a lot of different rules and guidelines. So it's not going to be like we're, what we are going to imagine school to be like the, next year. Yeah. So we're all going to have to, like, get used to the fact of the new rules and the mask. And there's going to be a lot of complaining. Yes. Yeah. It's going to be, like, a new year, like, just a brand new COVID-19 year. This is something we've never experienced before. Mm-hmm. Nobody has. Yeah, no one who's alive has, has experienced it. And, hey, complaining, though, that's a high school tradition. So, I mean... What? Oh, so you're tell you're telling me people won't be super excited to be at school all the time? I mean, I I'm, I'm personally really excited just because I'm tired of being at the house, you know? So I I'll, I'll wear a mask if I, you know, if that's what it takes to to be back and just kind of in a routine. Summer's cool, but after a while you're just sitting around for so long. It's like, okay, what's what's next? You know, and it's that uncertainty of like that's what I think COVID is really that's why COVID has been so tough is because you don't know exactly what's next or where, when the finish line is going to be there. So I'm su super excited about getting back to school, though. The mask thing, why is there's so many people who are like against masks? What's I mean, what's the feeling am amongst your your social circle? Uh, some people like them, some people don't. I usually I wear mine because like I don't want to risk myself. What about you, Morgan? I have to wear one like whenever I go to work. So it's like six hour shifts. 
And just like, it would sometimes be my job to like tell people to put a mask on. So I'd get like yelled at and screamed at a lot. And I just think that it's just something very tense. But like, Mm -hmm. at the end of the day, like it's not up to us. And I like, I don't know, if you want to wear your mask, wear your mask. If you, if you don't like, and then you get it, it's your fault. Like it's not anybody else's. Because I do think that they have some safety to them or else we wouldn't be told to wear them and yes it's annoying and yes it's uncomfortable and yes it's hard to breathe but the at the end of the day it's wear your mask or like make yourself vulnerable to like getting corona and I just would take the wear your mask yeah definitely wise words who's yelling at you for I mean who's yelling at you first of all and then over something that they're already supposed to be doing. These are are these adults? Oh yes. Wow, that's uh. Grown that's people fun. with children with them like have yelled at me about telling them to put on a mask. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I, like I've gone home and cried because I've been yelled at so much, and I just don't think that people think about it. Like I get that everybody's upset and like everybody's having a hard time with this. Like I have to wear a mask for six hours. Like I'm not happy about that. But like when there's a sign on the door that says wear your mask, and then you come in without a mask, and you yell at a 17 year old like in front of your kids, like I just don't think that that is the answer to all of this. Because at the end of the day, you still need to wear a mask inside. Yep. Yeah, it's more about wow, that's a uh, mind blowing. I'm man, I'm sorry, Morgan. That's terrible. It's okay. Well, good for you for like you know sticking up for yourself and and that's that's crazy. Yeah, I, to those of you who yelled at Morgan, uh, hopefully you're not watching this because you're terrible. That's terrible. Oh, that's, that's so like I don't know what I would do if I was in Morgan's position. Like, I'd probably start crying on the spot if someone yelled at me. I know what I'd do. I'd get fired because I would have certain thoughts for that person. Also, at 17, yeah, definitely would get fired because I didn't, wouldn't have the self-control to like – like, that's nuts. That's absolutely nuts because for me, like, you know, you wear the mask more. It's not, it's not going to keep you from catching anything. It's just like I, I'm probably going to be fine if I catch it. You know, I'm, I'm banking on that. It's calculated risk, but I don't want to – if I have it and I don't have symptoms – and I breathe on somebody that that is vulnerable, and I just decided not to wear a mask in a closed area. That's like that's just common courtesy. I mean, they that's that's nuts. Well, you know, it's one of those things. I think also coming back to school, yes, you have to wear a mask, and it's not going to be like anything we've seen before. But at the same time, you 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 come back to a safe place where you're not. No one's going to be yelling at you for explaining very simple uh, courtesies that you have to extend to other people. And, you know, you kind of just get to be, I think you, your generations had to like really grow up really quickly. And that's why I'm excited about school is we can just kind of, you can kind of go back to being, you know, I know you don't want to think of yourself as a kid, but sort of like a kid actually kind of not, not have to be so grown up all the time. Yeah. Yeah, I am excited. Definitely. I'm excited to see what this year's just going to be like. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're just going to have to make the most of it. Mm-hmm. Because it is our last year, so. I don't want to do online school, but I really, I don't know if I want to go back. So it's just like either way. Yeah, you're kind of, everybody's stuck between a rock and a hard place right now. And it's, I, I think it's great that, the school is just making the effort to get people back in the building, you know, and we'll see, we'll see how it goes, but at least we're, we have a plan to start. Yes. At least we have that. Do you know if we're going to do like some days on and some days off or not? Right now, the only plan is we're back to normal. We'll have to keep distance. I mean, that's one of those things where, I don't think anything's off the table, uh, but then again, I'm just the drum teacher, and I have a, and I've been putting videos on YouTube, so I'm certainly not the authority on that. But from my understanding, is it's just, you know, it's it's very difficult because you just have to attack it with some fluidity. Like, 
maybe we'll do like A, B days or maybe we would do like just mornings and then half the school come in in the afternoons. Honestly, I, I, have, I have no idea how that would work. It also depends on, you know, what the authorities say. I mean, we're talking like from the, the tippy top down, we're talking federal government down, you know, you don't know what they're, they're going to do or what they're going to say. So, you know, you got you to gotta play ball. You got to play by the rules. So it's, it's one of those things. We'll see. We'll see. So when y'all go to Sonic and hang out in the parking lot, do y'all wear your masks? Mm, we usually, like, stay in our cars. Yeah, usually I stay in my car. So, like, drive-in theaters are going to make a comeback, apparently. Have y'all ever been to a drive-in theater? That would be fun. That would be really cool. I would love that. Me too. Like, sit in your car while you watch a movie. That would be, that would be nice. Yeah, like, kind of returning to a simpler time. Because I don't, man, it's hard to go to, like, a regular movie theater now uh with that on your mind because you can't it'd be very hard to relax uh, i know you can like rent out a theater now so you're like just your pod of people can go but drive-in theaters i think that's the i think they're coming back it's like a flashback from the 50s exactly going into the future taking something from the past that'd be cool. gas oh, yeah. prices drive-in movie theaters so you all have big july 4th plans um no no, oh, I think I'm just going to be at home. Hey, that's good, though. Cook or something. Yeah, I bet my parents will cook, but we might go swimming at our pool. You got a pool? Well, we have a neighborhood pool that's open, but it only has, like, a limit of, like, how many people can go. Yeah, you got to keep your distance. Yeah. Man, well, it's one of those things that I hate that you're having to go through this, but once again, I mean, everybody's going through it, so you're certainly not alone, and it's weird because we all feel like we're alone because we're isolated at, you know, we go to, like, maybe one or two different places throughout the week, and then that's it, um, but you're certainly not alone, so uh, it's important to remember that. Do you guys have any, you know, I know you're you're still communicating with your friends, but do you, you got any shout-outs for them? What do you mean? Morgan, a shout out is when like, let's say like, I love my mom. So I would like look in the camera and be like, shout out to my mom, you the best. And then that's what a shout out is. Oh, so we're doing shout outs for people? Or things. Shout out to Sonic Parking Lot. Shout out to Cranberry Water. If you haven't tried it, you should. It's good. So let me, let me explain this. Yes, please do. So I have this addiction to cranberry water. So Sonic has like all those add-in flavors. So really like any of the add-in flavors, you can get it in like a water. So I just get like a large water with like cranberry flavoring in it. And it's really, really good. And my sister gets a water with mango in it. And it's, it's, it's life-changing. It's mm -hmm. life-changing cranberry water. Yeah. What was, what was that, cat? It's like a healthier option. Like, instead of getting, like, a slushie that has, like, a ton of calories, you can get a water with, like, a little bit of flavoring in it. If you don't feel like drinking just water, you can get a little flavor. Mm-hmm. It's like LaCroix. But it's not like the, it's not like the, like, this is, this is like LaCroix. I also enjoy this. But it's like, it's just water with just a little bit of, like, it's a splash. Mm-hmm. Like a splash of something in it. Like it's not really like carbonated. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. All right. But well, my I meant more like it's like LaCroix where you're healthy because you're drinking water, but it's not like soul crushing because it has no flavor. It has flavor so you enjoy it, but it, you're still you're still being healthy. Yes. Mm -hmm. See, that's important right now. Health is health is wealth right now. You gotta like you gotta are, are y'all getting sun? Y'all getting your vitamin D? I've been to a beach. I've been to the beach like about two or three times we went to this Delta summer. Mm -hmm. You live in Mississippi. You could step outside like for ten minutes and get your fill of vitamin D. Make sure you're getting outside, even though you have to stay at home. You got to get. They they say vitamin D is like the. That's like one of the main things that fights against COVID. So. Too bad it's supposed to storm all this week. So. 
Yeah, you got to get, you got to like, I don't know, invest in a tanning bed or something, which has its own issues. All right, so the shout out was not to any friends, just cranberry water. Yes. Um, hey, my yeah. mom. I love you, mom. mom and shout out to all my friends that are watching this and all the teachers. Love y'all. Miss y'all. <laughs> yeah. What Kat said. Yes. What Kat said. And honestly, though, cranberry water. Because that's, I'm about to, I'm about to take a deep dive into cranberry water uh, when we're done with this. I life-changing y'all go try it's good that's what I, I mean that's what we all need so you know sacred heart we got a media club we love our moms and cranberry water what else do you want rule of threes well girls i appreciate you sitting down it was cool to have uh we had garrett bell on here we'll see if he makes the final cut he's his wi-fi uh yeah is acting up so it's all right we shout out to garrett because he was here for a little while and then he was frozen and then he was back and uh but he's gone he's 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 an alum now so it's fun but, all right all right y'all have an awesome rest of your day and enjoy your uh fourth of july weekend all right bye, bye.